This video is about how to use the Elecraft K3 with a variety of computer programs to enhance its capability and add to the enjoyment. The main computer program controlling the K3 as well as the other related software is N4PY. This is a view of the screen and here on the right you'll see the set of buttons that uh, control the band stacking registers. You'll see each band as well as different modes are listed and every time you click on one of those buttons you return to that band and that mode on, at the frequency that you used uh, last. Next to those we have some sliders for AF gain, RF gain and transmit power there's a row of buttons near the display on the right side of the display for tune, mute, uh, receive antenna, and attenuator. Um, then the main display you see uh, there across the middle of the screen, the upper half of the middle of the screen, which has the current frequency in yellow, the VFO B frequency in green, as well as a lot of other data and a meter. Below the main screen you have a number of buttons used for tuning, setting filters, and a few other options. On the lower left of the display you'll see the uh, buttons for setting bandwidth. These all of course can be customized. And then sliders for VFOB uh, volume and RF gain as well as the key speed and the noise, uh, noise reduction. And you also have uh, uh, some additional buttons for selecting different antennas, setting the box, and so on. In this close-up, uh, here I'll use the mouse to do some tuning. First VFO A, uh, down or up the band, uh, slow or fast, very fast. Uh, and of course you can do the same with VFO B and set your filters for both VFO A and B wider or narrow and uh, uh, here you can set the various modes. The N4PY software also interfaces with other software. Here on the small monitor is a version of Power SDR IQ running. I'm using Power SDR IQ because it interfaces directly with the N4PY software and doesn't require any additional program to send the K3's frequency mode and bandwidth uh, between the uh, radio the radio control program in Power SDR. Here's a wide view of the Power SDR screen and you can see all of the various uh, signals here. We're on 40 meters in the uh, sideband portion of the band and these various carriers are foreign broadcast stations with a few uh, sideband signals trying to uh, find a, a place uh, in between the uh, carriers. If I click here and bring that particular uh, station uh, a little closer and do a little tuning there we go now I've, I can do that. Let me turn up the volume a little bit So he's, he's squeezing in there, but as you can see, there's a lot of other uh, activity on the band. And you can see the AM signal here with the sidebands on each side of the carrier. Swi switching to the CW portion of the band, uh, right now we've got some digital as well as a number of CW signals. I'm going to click here to move down the band and then expand the view and click on various signals to uh, see if we can hear what's uh, what's going on. Try another one. And it's just a point and click to QSY from one signal to another and another click gives us a little more detail There we go. So that's uh, using Power SDR to uh, QSY and to find and see signals on the band. 
With the M4 PY software, I can also use the numeric keypad to have the mouse wheel do different things. Right now it's set for VFOA and turning the mouse wheel changes the uh, frequency. I can set it now for RF gain and the mouse wheel takes care of RF gain or RIT control, receiver incremental tuning, or any one of uh, ten other things. So uh, you can use the uh, mouse wheel instead of a knob and uh, accomplish any number of things. The N4PY software writes out a Pegasus style file uh, for setting frequency and mode and sending that information to other programs. Here we have DX Keeper, part of the DX Lab Suite, and it's, uh, it's taking the mode and frequency which is being sent by the uh, N4PY software. This is done through another DX Lab application, Commander, and Commander here is set up to read the Pegasus file. So the N4PY software tells the Commander that it's a Pegasus. The Pegasus uh, file is used by Commander then to set the frequency and mode for the logging program. So we have the logging program controlled by a file system instead of a virtual or a real COM port, which makes it much easier to configure. The N4PY software will also interface with the K1EL uh, uh, WinKey, or WinKey USB in this case, <clears throat> which allows you to use the uh, computer keyboard for sending CW, as well as use a number of memories which you can set up in the N4PY software. So overall, a combination of M4PY plus the Power SDR and the advantages of the K3 working together make it a very enjoyable setup.